Hello guys, so here's a small forward because uh, what I was not aware is that we have quite a lot of different uh, bottom bracket systems around these days. Uh, so I'll show you in a second how to exchange a bottom bracket of this type, which is um, probably a square taper bottom bracket. Um, this is the most uh, the classical older style which you will have on most older and cheaper bicycles. Then uh, here over here we have uh, Octalink, which is basically about the same thing. So, but just instead of a square taper, you have an octagonal here with uh, several spokes, uh, which gives you a bit of a bigger area. But they are quite similar, and you can uh, usually exchange them both with the same tools. Um, then over here, because the collection is not perfect. It's not uh, so we have probably um, a holotech system where we actually need different tools uh, to disassemble and exchange the cranks and or toy crank set so um, you, you should check what your bicycle head has before you look at any manual or order any tools because you need a very different tools for this style uh, there are there are about six systems which i'm aware of but most will will be here in the in the uh, square taper system in the classical bicycle system or octalink um, which both work with the same tools in the same way which i will show you right now but uh, if you see something like this here we have the the bearings on the outside you need different tools you need different cranks and also, if you have an octalink, you need a different crank than on a square table, and this has a different crank set. So you should be aware of this and get the parts and tools which are which are for your system, what you have on your bicycle. If you buy like a, a bicycle tool set, you probably will get them for all more common systems there. But most times it's easier and cheaper just to buy the tools you actually need. Hello guys, so you may heard the complaints from me bending this crankshaft here, uh, this crank. It's a bit hard to see, but um, it's not running straight anymore, so I really have to pull it and remove it as tools. We need the new crank, of course, uh, something to open the, the holding screw here. In this case, I have a, a combination tool which also would allow us to open the gearbox, but uh, we won't need this today. The puller for the crank, and this tool comes with its own with its own uh, own key, and we actually can use this edge here to open the protection cap, which is protecting the screw. So, yes, you would need a screwdriver or something else to pull. Pull that off. So let's first remove the, the interlocking screw here. It goes really easy when you open it, so uh, you really have to go in the right direction and then it's, it's out there. This is screw which holds crank in place and now we need our tool here some people say you should give it some some oil most are uh, most you cannot separate this one is uh, one model which you can where you can separate the outer and inner layer and it's important that this is straight in but here it's really hard to tell because the the crank is so so then Oh my god it Stop that uh, thing is there, it's not 
Not bent. really hard to see, to see, so I'm really worried that maybe, but I think here we can see the bend a little bit. Just hope that the new one will be snug there and not, we don't have to exchange the whole, the whole gearbox. Make sure that the pedal is right, in the right direction. Looks, looks much better. Just figured out that this combination tool also has the, the fitting Look fine. 